You see an old man in the cell. He introduces himself and you record his remarks as journal entry 12. I should just never put this down again. What am I thinking? All right. Dimsworth says, my name is Dimsworth the Sage. I'm happy to meet you, though I wish you were under better circumstances. Oh, we got a lore dump here. Hold on. <clears throat> I knew some other people who had bonds similar to yours and spent some time studying them. I see that some of your symbols are missing, however. I would suppose that originally there were five. Essentially, the symbols are power signs of five powerful factions that have banded together. Needless to say, they're all extremely evil. Their common purpose is to enhance their collective power. However, if this bonding follows the previous pattern, and with Moander and the Fire Knives involved, I have little doubt that it will, each of the evil powers has its own use for you to the detriment of the others. That is your greatest advantage. I have personal knowledge of one of your bonds. The hand with the mouth is the symbol of Mo Moander. His aspect was destroyed the last time he tried to enter this plane. It's probable that Mojian, his surviving high priestess, placed the symbol on you as a part of an attempt to bring him back. As we go, uh, we, we know, we know, we dealt with that. We're good there. I know little more than the identity and rumors about the other symbols. The Z encased as a circle on a triangular field is the symbol of Zentrum, our hosts, I'm afraid. It's said they have a great horde of lawful good weapons and magical items from her, as Paul goes, oh, really? I must procure those for, for the betterment of the realms. I was attempting to figure out, find out where it was when I was captured. I have determined that the horde is not here, though. It's rumored that Zol Sembril, the leader of the Zentrum, is attempting to bring persons of good alignment under his power so that he can use these devices. The half moon with the three bars is the sign of Dracondos. He's a mighty red wizard of Thay, but he's been banished for having an overwhelming ambition untempered with any sense of tact or timing. It said he has some obsession with dragons, and we go, uh, we, 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 we don't, we're, we're good with him too. Yeah, he's done. Oh, oh, okay then. Finally, the claws of flame are the symbol of Terranthraxus, the flamed one. I thought it would take him much longer to recover after the recent events in Flan. I hear you all had some doing with that. <laughs> yeah, we kind of did. <laughs> yeah. He is of the greatest threat, as his ambition is the domination of the Empire higher prime material plane, and he controls the pool of radiance, which must still exist if he's back. To finish off Terranthaxis, you'll need three magical artifacts. I know they've been distributed among three of the powers that have bonded you. One of the artifacts, the Amulet of Lathander, is somewhere here in Zental Keep. Dracondos has the Helm of uh, Dragons near Haptooth, and Mogian, uh, Mogian, whatever, <laughs> controls the Gauntlets of Moander of Yolash. None of these items are of any use except when in the vicinity of the Pool of Radiance. Unfortunately, I don't know how their magic works. I'm afraid I won't be of much use to you in terms of fighting power. However, I have been adventuring before and know how to stay out of everyone's way. 